Let's get started by clicking on Add Searcher. For this example, I'm going to select Reddit, but you can see the other platforms we support here. I'm going to select to be alerted via email, but there's also a plain text email option, a webhook, which is more for developers, and you can connect your Slack account, as well as we also have many other options in development. You can just click this Suggest button or reach out to us via our live chat box if you have a suggestion of something you want. Now for alert me when, I'm going to select instantly. And there's also a daily option, which currently will send out a summary email every day around 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is the most important option here. This is the keywords that we want to search for. For this example, I'm going to simply select for my amazing brand as if that was the name of a company or something that I wanted to search for. But keep in mind that any keywords will work here. Okay, I'm going to not cover the exclude option right now. We'll cover that in a more detailed video later on, as well as any of these other options. These defaults will work for here, so I'm just gonna click Add Searcher. Now the searcher has been added and everything is starting to happen, so now I will just sit back and wait for those results to come in. And now let's pretend it had been a while and that the results had come in. Let me give you an idea of what those results look like when they come into the dashboard. But keep in mind, you also will get an email depending on what you selected versus daily alerts or instant alerts. To view the results, you're just gonna click on this eye here that says view results. And when the page loads, you're gonna see each of the results that are coming up. Now keep in mind what you're seeing right now is example data, so these words will not make sense, but this will give you a general idea of what this looks like. You're gonna have at the upper left-hand corner here the platform that this result is from. You're gonna have the title of it, the text, the match will show up as well, so it'll show the keyword in yellow that it's matching, but it's not showing that here because this is example data. You can view the result by clicking on this link here. This will not work now, so I will not show you. Also, you can see the user or the site that this result is coming from. You can see the sentiment here. Is it neutral? Is it positive? Is it negative? On the right-hand side here, upper right, you can see the time that this occurred. So this one's very old, but like I said, it's example data. Here, you can favorite this result. You can also trash it instantly, as well as select it to do some more bulk or mass options. And that is the basics of how to get quickly started with Notifier. Like I said, there's other videos where we go into more de in depth on all this. And remember the most important thing, if you ever need any help, feel free to reach out to us with our chat box here or by clicking on the help documentation here, which will take you to our detailed help documentation. And also keep in mind, finally, that if you see anything that doesn't work for you or that you need change or a new feature you added need added, then feel free to reach out to us by any of those options as well. And we will work on getting that prioritized.